My name is Ashley, and you're watching Kid Cheese Outdoors. Nicely done there, Ashley. Thank you for introducing this week's Kid Cheese Outdoors, all right? Uh, just you gotta give me a moment though. Ashley right there is one of the con men. She's awesome. I had the pleasure of meeting her and her father at the All Pro Expo. They came to see me and uh, it was very nice. All right, she did a little uh, intro for the show and there you go, Ashley, con man. And con man can be con woman. All right, so let's get over it, all right? Yeah. And Ashley, you gotta take a moment here. I have to interview a couple of people. Apparently they reached out, want to fish with the kid, all right? So take care everybody, brush your hair. Kid Cochise, I'm Zach Norris. I had two North Carolina state records for blue catfish. I'd like to take you fishing. Hey, Kid Cochise, can I go fishing too? I caught a catfish once. You're horrendous. You know nothing about cats. All right, so folks, there you have it. Zach Royce, Blues Brothers Charters, Mike Smedley, old school fishing team, all right? We're going out to catch blue cats, all right? 105 pounds, all right, in the boat. How you doing, ladies? All right, boys, let's get to work. That's what I'm talking about, players. Stay tuned. <laughs> Mr. Blues Brothers. Yeah. Well, welcome back to Geek Coach. He's out doors, everybody. Subscribe. You still look fat in those high vis slickers. I heard that. Oh my goodness, she's so nasty to him. I wish he was my husband. Oh, you know nobody's gonna be buying that stuff that this woman wants to marry me. She'd probably rather be with uh, Beetlejuice than jump in with the chubby kid, all right? <gasps> well, that's neither here nor there. I don't have my feelings, sir, all right? Welcome back, Kid Cochise Outdoors. I appreciate all the love notes. What? I say love notes. All the nice notes that you guys sent out there asking where the videos are coming, well, they're back, all right? It's <laughs> Tuesday. Uh, what are we gonna do? Oh, we're out here. Down in Virginia, really like you could throw a rock and hit North Carolina. That's where we're fishing right now on the border. And we're out there with Zach Royce. He's a monster catfish fisherman, all right? You Google catfish, he pops up, all right? You Google chubby, uh, overweight, jack jobs, and I think I'm like the second page, all right? What? Never mind. All right, Zach's going to show us the rigs right now. All right, Zach, what exactly we got here? I just got a three-way drift rig. A slinky weight. Slinky rig. Yeah. Weirdo. On a three-way swivel, a little bit different than a standard three-way, but same idea. Oh, really? Okay, and this is a slinky weight. That's yes, yeah, uh, homemade slinky weight. The uh, light line going to that, 15 pounds, so it'll break off if it snags. Got a 60-pound leader with a chain swivel that just prevents twisting. Um, Different size peg floats depending on the bait. This one's a two and a half inch peg float. And I just snill a seven aught um, circle hook on. Okay. How many rods are we gonna be putting out? We're gonna run just six. Typically that's all I run is uh, six rods uh, when I'm uh, drift fishing. All right folks, now what we're doing, we are drifting gizzard shad chunks, all right? Not unlike the uh, bunker chunks that we do, but a little different though. I don't drift chunks, but Obviously they do. Some guys do it over in Raritan, over in New York Bite there. They do it. Ripping current, it works, I guess. They catch fish. Me, I'd like to set up on the piece of structure and do it that way. That's neither here nor there. I'm going off on a tangent right now. What happens is uh, Zach is cutting these gizzard shad a specific way. And uh, we're going to hook them just like we hooked the bunker chunks right above uh, the spine. Make sure that uh, bait's going to free up. Same technique. However, he hooks the mouth in the front. He goes through the lips. I don't do that, but it's different when you're pulling a bait. You want to have it uh, streamlined anyway, so it's going to be pulled by the mouth first, if that makes any sense, all right? Obviously, if you do it my way, it's going to be pulling sideways, and the bait's probably going to spin. You don't want that to happen, so that's why he does the heads that way. Through the top, bottom of the mouth, out the top of the mouth, and the hook is exposed, and he's pulling it. It has a lot better draw through the water when you're drifting it, all right? We're drifting point five miles an hour. It's a half a mile an hour. If you guys want to do knots, do knots. Knot is 1.1 knot. Who cares? Miles per hour, makes it simple. All right, so we're doing a half a mile an hour, 0.5 mile an hour, and if you have to slow it down, he's throwing the drift sock out there to do that. And what we're doing is we're just kind of scooting through channels, dragging these six baits. All right, so let's just go back. We'll see how Zach hooks up these planer boards, all right? These are Zach Royce custom planer boards. They're different, that's why they work, and he's gonna explain why. 
All right, this one's got a pigtail swivel. Um, a lot of them have snap swivels, but either way, you always put that on first. With these, I just twist it right on. And then your clip's gonna wanna go towards your rod tip. On my planters, I have a peg in the clip. That's because we're dragging on bottom. We don't want, that, want the board releasing over snags. Just go behind the peg. And just toss it out a little beside the boat. <laughs> there you go. I'm just myself. That's perfect. That's it. Let it feed, out. Feed it out, right? Yeah. And however far you want it, you know, we're going to stagger them. We've got one board way out, and we're going to put this one a little closer uh, to the boat. All right, so there's your setup right there. We're trolling 0 0.05 miles an hour. Gizzard Shad floats, slinky rigs. First fish, here it comes. All right, guys, so here we go. First fish. Hits the, hits the chunk, obviously, and what I'm going to do now is the rod is in the uh, rod holder. I'm just going to reel because we have a circle hook. I need to make sure this fish gets hooked up. Then I take it out, say hello, and the uh, fight's on. All right. That might be a good fish. Yeah, that's how you feel. <laughs> Don't go overboard now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mommy. <laughs> mommy. All right. I gotta come back a little bit. Through the old under. There we go. Perfect. Go. Perfect. This, this fish is running, man. This guy feels like a different piece of fish. Am I okay here? Yes. All right, there we go. I'm in. Okay, you got him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just stop there and bring him around. Here. You got He's like the He felt freaking bigger than that. Yeah, he really hit it too. He barreled down on it. That's what we're here for. We're here for a bigger one right now, but that's the first today. Skunks off the boat. We catch a big one. Oh yeah. Good. That's good. Very good. Whoa. Woo! That's a click ride who takes line. I want to hear that thing. On the accurate. Uh-oh. Oh boy. The J and H real. Oh boy. That was cool. Taking drag. Another one here. Yeah. Another one here. Yeah. Yeah. Is that another fish on? Two fish on. Yeah, man. Zach gets to catch a couple. Yeah. We come out with food from his own luck. It's craziness. It's pandemonium. It's pandemonium live. I got three cameras going. Let's try to turn this. I'll just leave that there. That's a good fish. Oh. oh, yeah. That's one. That's a good looking fish there, buddy. Oh, it's total pandemonium. That's the Jane H reel, right? Jane H rig? Yeah. yeah. Your Phoenix and your. Uh... Yeah, that's a. Uh... Got you a fish stick right here on the back. Yeah, that's a, what, a 12 pound fish? That one, he's got at least 15. 15? At least, yeah. Grab it, grab it, screw it up. I can grab by the mountain, right? Yeah, as long as you just don't grab the leader. You scared me, I saved You got gloves, you can get them. Come out. I know, right? I'm not a good editor, I don't have a bleach. I thought you were short camera, I can't use mine. Nice. That's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. Yeah, but at least 15, right? Yeah. He might be close to 20 pounds. A fish stick with him. Yeah. <laughs> Show it to the people at home first. We're working on it. Oh. Oh. My man Zach right there. I'll get closer. Alright, let's see a guess. Yeah. What's this fish weigh? Take a guess. This fish is gonna pull back soon, so let's take a look at it. Max, 
Okay, I'm going to say 16 and a half. Just tilt it down. All right, what would you say? 16 was my guess. It is a 17 pounds on the dot. Okay. 17 pounds. I said 16 and a half. What do I okay. win? Tell me what I've won, Bill. <laughs> you won nothing. Oh, right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Go Gone. down, baby girl. Gone. Good job, Dude. Put that other one in there. Good job, Zach. You've been busting your butt out of here today, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Hey, Conway, <laughs> isn't it time for a shout-out? Shut out? your mouth! It's time for a shout-out, I think. You're right. It is time for a shout-out. Let's go do a shout-out right now. All right, folks. Here we have my man Tyler from Jamaica Bay last season. Troll Mojo's picks up this nice fish right now. Then we have the Con from the Connecticut boys over there doing a little duck hunting on the North Shore. And then we got our boy Steve Kamen from Jay Z. All right, I guess Steve just likes to kiss fish. That freak. Oh, you shouldn't talk like that. Steve's a fantastic guy. I was kidding. I love Stevie. And last but not least, the legend from Ocean City, Maryland, Victor, with a nice tag. Oh, you know I love the con man right there. Even the ones that kiss fish. What? All right, the Chubby Kid gets invited all over the country right now to do some fishing right now. And as far as accommodations, I have to stay in the uh, swankiest places, of course. So I was invited by Team Old School guys down there. Zach, I says, you know, if it's a five star, if it's not five star, Chubby Kid ain't staying. So, sure enough, I have to stay in the Chantaloon place right here. All right, folks, this next episode supports Chapter 3 of my book, Case of Dijon Man Moosh. Go to Elias V's house and have a bunk sandwich. What? Oh, my goodness, he's messing with John's <laughs> That's right. Bro, keep me out of this. Elias, relax, pal. I'm kidding. I'm only kidding, all right? Oh, my goodness, he's out of control in 2018. Let's go into today's tackle. I'm going to be talking over birds and a damn guy blowing his leaves over there. But we're going to pull it off, all right? Here she is right here. I'll zoom in on it. That is the accurate BV400. All right, that's the Boss Valiant 400. 30 pound, high seas, monofilament. That's the high vis stuff because when you're doing multiple lines out there, you want to be able to see what's crossing and stuff like that. The rod itself is a seven foot Phoenix. This is the Black Diamond, and this is a medium heavy. Uh, Phoenix rods, the medium heavies are a little heavy, and the medium is probably going to be a better bait rod, like a fresh bait rod. It's going to have a little better parabolic bend in it, and that's what uh, you want in that stuff. You want that rod to kind of bend over a little bit. These are the rods. These things will catch anything that swims, all right? Obviously accurate, top of the, top of the food chain when it comes into uh, any type of reel. All right, and Phoenix is a real pioneer and trendsetter in the uh, fishing rod industry, all right? So that's going to be the combos we'll be using those all year. That's cool stuff right there. You can get all that stuff at J&H. Take a peek at J&H. Uh, Josh right here is the uh, guy who does all the social media there, does all the stuff. Who's, he's the guy I'm pro staffing for. So uh, take a peek at J&H.com for all that stuff. All right, so let's go back right now. Let's see another fish, the last fish I believe. Show me the new con man shirt. All right, folks, last fish right now, all right? You're going to notice when this fish strikes right now, Mike and Zach kind of back off. They want nothing to do with that, right? Why is that? Because right now I'm going for my IGFA XYZ PBQ LMNOP certified record of the biggest catfish ever caught in Lake Gaston. All right? So if they touch that rod, I'm disqualified so they don't touch it, all right? Because if they did, that's what would happen. Right to the soul plexus, they'd both be out cold, all right? This is what I'm talking about. Fishing with Zach Royce down on Lake Gaston. This guy literally, no BS, has the potential of catching another state record. That's how in tune he is with this fishery, all right? So if you're ever gonna go down there, look up Zach, don't go down there and think you're gonna be able to do it by yourself. This guy's got more tricks up his sleeve than, uh, you gotta put the joke in there. I don't know the joke, all right? He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. All right, he knows the lake like the back of his hand. So this next fish, it hits, they there back off, and the chubby kid grabs it. GoPro power on. Go for it, start recording. I think we did right on that cat. Yeah, man. Got a little fight to him. A little North Carolina cat fishing. I think we did right on that cat. Yeah, man. Got a little fight to him. 
Yeah, they're deeper, huh? I guess that front. Yeah, push them out a little bit. Yeah, man. How deep are they? Uh, 33. Yeah, oh, that's much deeper. It's, yeah, these 12 pounds. These 12, 13 pounds, yeah. Well, based on my experience, you were a master, master champion. Being my second catfish. I don't know. He's smaller than the other one, I think. I think he's smaller. Yeah. He is a little plastic. <laughs> That's it, guy. See, that goes to show you how much I know about catfish. I don't, don't know a damn thing about it. Guys, this is exactly why you fish with Zach. He knows what he's doing. He knows where he is. And he knows where the fish are. All right? It's not that simple. I'm making it sound simple, but it's not. Zach put a lot of time into this. There's lots and lots of that size. What's two? Guys, two that, that thing hit like it had something going on. No, I thought he was going to be a better fish, to be honest. Remember we were talking? I said every catfish is totally different. Yeah, right? that's true. Very it's, true. It's... I don't catch a lot of them, but when I do, it seems like I can never nail down what it is. That was nice. Very nice. Very nice. Hold on, you gotta stick him out towards me. Very good. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> so we can Photoshop it later. Right, Zach? Oh, there you go. We can Photoshop it. That is a blue catfish. Let me show you my vast knowledge in catfishing biology. Okay, you see this anal fin right here? You see how it's very straight? It's yes. almost, it comes down and goes straight as an arrow. That's on a blue cat. If it's a lobe, it's a little smaller, it's like a lobe, it is a channel, channel catfish. Oh, really? I want to thank you all for uh, watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors and tuning in. This is our first video of the year. Put a lot of stuff into it, a lot of editing and stuff like that, but of course there's a lot of shenanigans in it. I hope you guys have a laugh or two. But again, the content and the equipment is top notch, all right? Uh, you're gonna be seeing both of that. You're gonna see a bunch of new captains out there. We'll be fishing with a bunch of different people there, showing their tips and techniques. That's what Kiko Cheese Outdoors is about. Of course, we need to have fun out there, but we also learn a thing or two, all right? We use the best equipment, fish with great guys and girls, and that's what it comes down to again. So thanks for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. Uh, I wish you guys all the best spring season that you're gonna have. Uh, here that the New York bites could be blown up any second now, so hopefully we get over there. We'll be pulling some Tony Maja spoons and new Tony Maja. Uh, he's got new mojos in there. Really sick stuff. I saw that at the Old Pro Expo. Uh, what else? Uh, the Gypsy Fleet. All right, Gypsy Fleet added another. This is a New York City base uh, out of the Rockway Seaway Marina, I believe. Captain Josh, Captain Jess, Captain Jared. All right, those guys are running a second boat, 51 foot. He can take all New York City out. All right, so take a peek at those guys. Those guys are top of the food chain when it comes to striped bass fishing over there. And uh, that's about it for now. That's the local knowledge that we got going on here. Oh, I forgot to add. Take a peek at this food right now. Catfish. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. Until next Tuesday, people, shake it ace.